I can imagine how, how difficult it would be to be different if you're Noah, especially when you sort of start imagining these voices of doubt that are probably speaking up as he's going about this task. I mean, he's building this giant ark out in his front yard, and you can kind of imagine his neighbors walking by going, Noah, what are you doing? I'm building an ark. What's it for? It's for the flood. What's a flood? You know, like when it rains a whole lot. What's rain? They go, this guy is a complete nutcase. He, he's completely lost it. And I, I just kind of imagine Noah living with these voices of doubt year after year after year after year. This ridicule from his neighbors. He's a nutcase. He's, he's a kook. This guy thinks God talks to him. This guy thinks God told him to build a boat. He thinks it's not only going to, it's going to rain, which has never happened up to this point. It's going to rain so much it floods the entire world. And you can kind of imagine this faith that it takes to listen to that doubt year after year, decade after decade. And the ark is getting bigger and bigger, which I can imagine you start having pressure from your own family. Like, Dad, can you get a real job? This is embarrassing. And the HOA, you know, where are they in all this? And the Bible tells us that Noah did not listen to those people, that Noah listened to the voice of God. The NIV says that Noah was warned about things not yet seen. The NLT says it this way, the New Living says, God warned them about things that had never happened before. How do you heed a warning about something that has literally never happened in the history of the world? There's only one way. By faith. That's it. The only way you're heeding this warning, the only way you're Noah going about this task of doing what God has called you to do is by listening to his voice and ignoring those other voices. Our series is called what? It is called By Faith. Over and over again, the story of these men and women are, are extolled. Why? Because of their faith. Well, if you're going to live by faith, you're going to have to listen to God not the voices of doubt. You think about it, Noah could not see the flood. Noah could not see the animals that are going to come on board the ark. Noah could not see what the ark would look like whenever it was finished. And I want to say, that's your life a lot of times too. You can't see what's going to happen. You can't see your destiny. You can't see where it's all headed. You can't see where it's all going to end up. You don't know what's going to happen to you next week, much less 10 years from now or 20 years from now or 30 years from now. You have to put your trust for your future in the hands of God. And that is what it is. It is faith. Remember how our chapter began? Our whole chapter began in Hebrews chapter 11. I want to remind you of this. It says, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. 